welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my Sunday stream. We do a little bit of whatever I want today. We're going to be playing some more Hato Full Boyfriend. To catch you up from two weeks ago when we did this, this is our Valentine's Day game <clears throat> that we are doing. I am going to voice act all of the characters. I will try to remember the voices I used last week. It's pro probably going to have to change the voices around. We'll see. No spoilers, please, if you know this game. I do have a guide, so we will hopefully not miss anything. And um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do new game, and we're gonna do Yuya. We're gonna do Yuya's path. So I already did um, a lot of the beginning. You know, if you watch the first video on my YouTube. So we're just gonna go straight to when Yuya shows up. Yes, that's okay. Okay, and yes, we do want human portraits. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do Yuya. Um, we already did uh, Su, she was his name. Freaking crazy shoe. We already did Shu, so we know a little bit about Yuya, what happens to you. Let's actually do his roof in particular. We're gonna fast forward a little bit. Um, I don't wanna fast forward too much, because I know Yuya has a scene. We're gonna try and switch his clicking. He has passed this, that happens in the last scene we did talk to Yuya. Yeah, Nanaki, that's the teacher, we did his roof as well. So last time we did, um, we did Yota, Nanaki, Nanaki, and then Shu. So we did two teachers, and we did our bestie, and we did, um, the, the kid in the library. Okay, all right, thanks, Nanako. All right, and we know that Yuya and this guy, Sakya, are brothers, um, but we are going to be talking about now. And uh, Yuya was a cool guy, so I think that was the voice I was using. Then he comes up here. Lunch already today, so we can so quickly. That reminds me, I've had these books out in the library all summer. I wonder if I know what it was in the library next. We don't need Yuya yet. This is not a key. We already met him. That's what we're building Okay, now maybe it's the Yuya scene. Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... Yeah, okay, here we go. I think I gave um, Sakuya like some kind of like hoity-toity voice. You should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Come on, Sakia, what kind of thing is that to say to your own brother after all these years? My brother, you must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. Please, don't try to talk to me again. I've no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. Hey, wait just a... I guess even if we're in the same school now, what's done is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. The ever popular trendsetter and ladies man, Sakazaki and Sakazaki Yuya is Sa Sayu Oh my gosh, Sakuya's brother. I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey. Hmm? You heard the whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakuya's? I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen in on you. Um <laughs> no sweat. I try to stay sexy and suave in front of all of you little ladies, but that there wasn't too cool. And there he is, Yuya. This fantail pigeon is Sakazaki Yuya, an upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous or infamous throughout the school. Every birdie knows of him. You're Karen, right? How did you... I know everybody here. Besides, you're the only human. A single poppy in a field of rye. Did you say you were a friend of Sakia's? Not exactly. We have a rather ballistic introduction this morning. Uh, we're in the same class, that's all. I'd never have thought that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe? He's an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article, in the flesh. He is? He's a bit of a pain, so good luck, one of me. Adieu. He really is a noble bird. I've never heard anything like that about Yuya, though. Probably a twisty business. Okay, and I think now we have all the way until 4 11. Yeah, this is a true scene, and we do not need to watch this. You already did your roots, sir. Okay. And this is Sun's focus on scene. We will do a focus on it later today. Okay, now we're gonna choose our club. So for Yuya we need to join the infirmary staff, which makes sense based on what we learned about him from Shu's uh, plot. Yeah, nepotism ho. Okay, so we are gonna join the, we're gonna join the infirmary staff. All right, let's see what we've got. So for electives, for Yuya, math. So they recommend math because it triggers more infirmary cues. 
So we probably have seen all of them, but um, yeah, we've seen all the math classes, but we're gonna we're gonna go through them anyway. Okay. Oh, I'm supposed to help at the infirmary today. I shouldn't keep them waiting. Better hurry. Salutations, Karen. Yuya! What's wrong? Are you hurt? So sweet of you to worry for me, but no. I'm the second in command here. You are? I would have never guessed. I couldn't be happier, mon ami. Mystery is the most powerful of aphrodisiacs. Anyway, our job is to check the medicines and clean up in here. Normally, I'd do that. But today, I've got some stuff I need to take care of, so could you handle this mess for me? Of course! Many thanks, Karen. Oh, and don't touch the desk. It's the doctor's personal area. I'll take you somewhere nice in return. Adieu! Yuya flutters out the door. Did he just ask me out? Anyway, cleaning. I think he did just ask me out. I think that is exactly what happened. Some of these drugs are a little weird, no matter how you look at it. Is this really an infirmary? It feels more like a human or rather avian experimentation room. Huh? The desk drawer is open and there are files sticking out. Everything was very neat when I was in here last, but maybe the doctor's a little careless about tidying up. Yuya did say not to go near the desk, but I think I'll... Okay, we're supposed to leave it alone. We'll leave it alone this time. Come on. I always have a little bit of trouble clicking. There we go. It doesn't register right away for some reason. I'm a little curious, but he did say not to go near the desk. Better to leave it alone. The doctor might show up and turn me into Karen Salami. <laughs> little do you know. you can possibly be expecting to run some race, can you? This horse festival is there and it doesn't involve running. How about being a cheerleader? The general in other words, very well. Leave it to me. Um, I don't think that. Also, the first day team is always short-handed, so I'm sure they can tell if anybody still can decide. That's all for today. You have to be like a race, focus on getting the marathon and talk to the cheerleader. You might be running the first day tent, which I do. I'll have to think about it. Obviously, we're going to do first aid tent. Today's the horse festival. I'm going to make up my mind, which I do. Go to the. We're going to go to the first aid tent. And we've seen this scene, but I wonder if it's different now that we didn't mess with Shu's desk. Salutations. Did you come to gaze into my eyes, mon ami? Um, I heard the first aid tent was shorthanded. Salutations. Alas, spurned off for the sake of medicine. I must work harder to prove my love. Anyway, happy to have you. As you can see, we have plenty of work to do. Ah, the obstacle course does always hurt a lot of birds. Why use a game designed for humans? Beyond me, mon ami. I suppose it's tradition. Where's the doctor? Shouldn't he be here too? Over there. He's resting in the shade of a tree, some distance away. It looks like he's taking notes on the performance of the birds on the racetrack. What's he doing over there? He doesn't want to ruin his girlish complexion working in the heat. He does the same thing every year. Is he taking notes on something? A lot of the birds graduating from this school get scouted by pro sports teams, so maybe he's checking up on the promising ones. Uh-oh, they've started. We'll be busy soon. Get ready, mon ami. Yes, sir. And so I spent the sports festival patching up damaged doves with Yuya. I learned some first aid from him, so it was time well spent, I think. The first barrier for all students who make it this far, the midterm exam. We're getting them back today, and I don't think I did too well. Terry, yes. I did the wrong voice. You worked hard. Keep going like that and you'll do just fine. One day you could surpass me. I'd love to see that. I guess I did pretty well after all, and Mr. Nanaki seems happy with me too. Yay! We already know that you do well on the midterm if you take math all the time. So. Mm, today is a good day. I feel like I'm shining. I wonder what I should do during break. Go to the... Let's see, what am I supposed to do? We're going to go to the store. Yeah, we're going to go to the store. That's weird that we're not going to the infirmary. But I guess we're not going to the infirmary because... Okay, but we already know from Shu's storyline. Okay, wait, that makes sense, actually. 
I don't really need anything, but I think I'll go to the store. I've never really looked around there before. Wow, they've got all sorts of things for sale. Though these nest building materials look like what you'd find in a human store's trash. My, how mature of you. Oh, it's him. My, how mature of you, mon ami. Plan to settle down already? Yuya! No, that's not it. I'm still a high school student. That may be so, but you know we doves reach sexual maturity within a year of birth. They do? That seems a little hasty. That aside, what are you here to buy, Yuya? Your love, of course. My, I, uh, Yuya, that's, mm, we're not. I'm not good enough. Oh, well, I'll have to try again later. This is how he talks to every girl he meets? Yuya is very persistent, isn't he? Okay, what do we do? Um, this is how, okay. We're gonna think that's a little rude. Yeah, I think that's a little rude, Yuya. What is? That sort of loose talk, like I'm a game or something. You know, that's the first time a girl's ever said that to me. I'm surprised. Thank you, mon ami. I'll carry this warning with my pigeon heart forever. Adieu. Okay, well, I guess we were supposed to tell him off. Maybe he likes a little negging. Take a look at the video. What should I do now? All right, knuckles. Okay, we already know what goes on here. Today is Tabata. There's totally an interesting classes here. Wow, there's a lot here already. Any birdie I know? Can you hear a song of the stars above? May they send you happiness, mon ami. Oh, that's from Yuya. Morning conference on 10 a.m. Leave 30 minutes early. Buy another alarm clock. May I wake up on time from Nanaki. Wednesday is garbage day, remember? <laughs> what should I wish for? Okay, so for Yuya, I should wish to rule the world from the... Sh oh, the angel one's there. We'll, act we'll, act we'll try to do the angel one, maybe, as well today. Since the... storylines before the angel one works so that's why it wasn't working before when we tried to do it so it's just in the guide it's listed too high okay we're gonna rule the world from the shadows yeah i wish to take the reins of power through clever schemes and rule the world from the shadows oh this is a little scheme i'm pretty sure i'm supposed to choose this no thank you yes thank you now we should only choose yes and we're actually not easy to do today if we're gonna do math again Cleaning the classroom took longer than usual. I need to hurry to the infirmary. Karen, what is it? I'm in a bit of a hurry. Nothing much. Just have you heard of the seven mysteries of St. Pigeonations, Karen? This school even has its own horror stories? Do tell. Yeah, well, there's one that says that sometimes students will disappear in the infirmary only to show up again as food in the dining hall and quill pens in the school's store. Sounds like an urban legend to me. Ryoto is trying to warn you, Karen. Ryoto was trying to win. It does, but Dr. Iwamine is pretty suspicious. Be careful, okay? You go to the infirmary a lot, right? Has he ever done anything to you? No, but, well, you're a girl, Karen. I'm a little worried. That's true. I'll be careful. Don't worry, Ryota. I'll be okay. Ryota always has been one to overthink things. Anyway, can't keep Yuya waiting. That's right. Yuya is my, my prize this time. Excuse me. Huh? Yuya and the doctor are talking about something. Did you really think I hadn't noticed? You sure... What, what, what was his voice? You sure look like you woke up on the wrong side of the nest. What are you talking about? I shouldn't have to explain. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I have told you never to touch my desk, haven't I? And what makes you think I ever have? This doesn't look too good. Um, Karen, there you are, mon ami. Karen can... <laughs> <laughs> the music just got really intense. Uh, Karen can back me up on this. We were in the courtyard together until a few minutes ago. She said she was going to the restroom, so I should go ahead. I only just got here. In other words, I haven't had the time to go rifling through your stuff, doctor. Right, mon ami. So what's going on here? It sounds like the doctor suspects Yuya of having searched his desk while he was out. I came straight from the classroom to here, so Yuya's obviously lying. I... Okay, obviously I need to say I was with Yuya this time. I know for Shu's route, we said we were not. So we were with Yuya. I don't quite know what's going on, but I don't like the look on the doctor's face. That's right, Yuya and I were having a sexy and luxurious sunbath in the courtyard up until a few minutes ago. Sexy and luxurious it was indeed. Well, doctor? Very well. 
I shall have to wait for a more solid evidence. Please do be careful. Of course, Doctor. Whew, I feel much better about that choice than I did on shoes route. Yuya, what? Forgive me, Monami. I can't explain right now, but one day... And he's gone. What was that supposed to mean? Is something really happening in the infirmary? Oh boy. Oh no. Oh gosh. Oh no. I'm really scared for this. I'm really scared for this plot. Okay. Finals. And we know we did really well. Yes. We're just going to click past this because we already know. Anytime you study math, you do really well. Okay. Today's the last day. It's been a semester already. Sometimes it seemed long and sometimes it seemed short. But either way, it's summer now. I should probably find out if I need to come to school to clean the infirmary at all. Cleaning? Well, I'll be here. Just about every day the building is open, but there isn't any real need for you to come too. There's nothing I could do to help. No. Was there anything else? Um... That's all. We're not going to talk about the missing students this time. N no, that's all. I will ask you to leave then. You aren't an unpleasant companion, but I have many experiments to conduct. Okay, Shu. We already know. We know all about your experiments. I got kicked out again. What did he mean by experiments anyway? Like a chemist does? Yeah. Creepy. It's easy to follow the practice of the cat lady's transformation. I can never talk to you about it. Don't be running today. Okay, let me go running. Don't think there's anything on the same page as that. The lady. The lady. And we. That's something we do. Nothing. We're going to see past this. We still have her as well. Her person is a person. It's really interesting. I can't see her up. Very good. Her own. It's plotting. It's still a long time until the semester starts. I have a lot more. Maybe I should apply for a part-time job. I have a chance. I'll. Okay, we do not do part-time job for for you. Many colleagues are in college. That's why I have to study at work. Some of them are in college. Some of them are in high school. Today is the local summer festival. I think I'll go with somebody. Invite Yuya, Yuya. Yeah, brand new scenes. Okay, Yuya. Let's invite Yuya. Salutations, Karen. I am honored to act as your escort tonight, my love. Oh, Yuya. Sorry, did I keep you waiting? Don't worry about it. A gentleman never keeps a lady waiting, so I always show up half an hour early. That's pretty early. Shall we go, mon ami? A successful festival indeed. Take my hand, Karen, lest the crowd separate us. Huh? Don't tell me you're a hand-holding virgin. Better late than never. You were the one who invited me, okay? Um, okay. His feathers are soft. I guess we're wing-holding, since he has no hands. So we're, we're wing-holding. This was fun, Karen. Where do you live? I'll walk you home. Um, yeah, yeah. What is it? Don't you want to play some more? The night is yet young, and if dangerous games are your desire, I will accompany you. That's not what I meant. I wanted to ask you something. Of course. Just my height and weight are classified information, so I can't tell you those. Why did you lie to Dr. Iwamine? That's a question. We flash back. She said she was going to the restroom, so I should go ahead. I only just got here. In other words, I haven't had time to go rifling through your stuff, Doctor. Right, Karen? Yeah, that happened. I came straight from cleaning my classroom. I hadn't seen you before I went to the infirmary, but you told the doctor that we'd been together. Why? That was a month ago now. I was hoping my obligation to explain had lapsed. You know... I was lying then, so why'd you play along? Because the doctor looked mad? I felt like if I didn't help you, he was going to do something to you. Hey, I'm asking the questions here. <laughs> Sorry, mon ami. Your hunter-gatherer instincts are too much for me. But yes, if you hadn't helped me back then, I'd probably be in little plastic bags in the freezer by now. That's not funny. Indeed, it isn't funny at all, and it's not a joke. <laughs> Please, give me a straight answer, Yuya. That was a straight answer. I'm always straight, in love. Almost always. No, I meant... Mm. Uh, Karen, can you do me a favor? What now? You're just trying to avoid the question again. Shh, listen. I'll only say this once. What's going on? His usual detached air is gone. He's looking around, almost nervously. I I'm sorry, mon ami. It looks like we had better split up. Can you get home all right by yourself? Of course. Of course, I... Good girl. We'll part ways as soon as we reach the intersection. I'll head into an alleyway, so go straight home. Don't look back. The night roads are laden with traps. 
Be careful. I do, mon ami. Okay, so Yuya is literally being chased. Like, that's how this is going on. He turns briskly and disappears into the narrow alleyway. What on earth is going on? He told me not to look back, but... A gunshot? What? Later that night, he sent me an email. Did you make it home in one piece? I'll be visiting in your dreams, mon ami, so sleep well. The message bears no trace of the tension I felt in him earlier. You all right, Yuya? He really is mysterious, Bird. I think I'll assume that his existence is one of the seven mysteries at St. Pigeonations. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the late sunset in summer makes it easy to stay out late. I feel like my internal calendar is off already. I think I'll get some udon and go home before I get life counseled. Wait, isn't that Yuya? He's rummaging around in a garbage can. Yuya, what are you doing? Have you fallen so far, mongrel? Good evening, mon ami. You sound rather like a certain someone. I, I can't believe you need to fish around in trash cans for food, Yuya. Please, don't misunderstand, mon ami. I was looking for something. Sadly, no clues are to be found in this barrel. Clues? What is he talking about? Let's keep this little secret from Sakuya, shall we? I would hate for him to have new names for me when school starts up again. Mr. Garbage Disposal. Something like that. Oh. Something like that. I would like to escort you home, mon ami, but unfortunately I am somewhat busy at the moment. Will you be alright on your own? A hunter-gatherer can always find her way home. Indeed. Adieu, mon ami. The smell of garbage surrounding him fades as he strides off into the night, but the mysteries don't. What was he looking for? What was he looking for indeed? Holy crap. Okay. Maybe there's a reason that Shu takes him out? He's not just convenient, like, infirmary? Um, you know, student, which is what I kind of thought when we were doing shoes, uh, root. Ah, uh, I know I should have gotten up when I first woke up. I slept way too late. School starts today, right? I'm going to be late. Oh, hello, Terry. Sir, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I overslept. Overslept? Oh, I know this scene. This is the one where she shows up way too early. Is there anything? No, I'm supposed to return to my glorious abode, so we'll just skip this. Yeah, we're going to return to my glorious abode. Come on. There we go. Yep. Alright, this is another scene we have done before. Okay, now we're on 901. Sir! Have we seen this? Sir! Oh, hello, Karen. Did you forget to turn your homework? Oh, this is on my ID card. Yeah, I've seen this as well. The student has asked us in the little change. So, was a car here all summer? Nobody noticed it? It's awfully clean, though. Should we at least be Anyway, I'll take care of it. Thank you, Terry. Yeah, we've seen that before. Alright, lecture today. We're going to do more math. Okay, and then this is a better scene. I don't think we're doing anything with this scene. Insane. Oh, let's see. Yeah, this is still a better scene. Okay, here we go. Uh, I've got to do something here. I'm sure. Here we go. Today's school festival. Our class decided to do a cafe. I'm not scheduled to work until tomorrow, so I have to take off. I don't have anything to do, so I guess I'll go around. Didn't Yuya say his class was doing a butler cafe in the courtyard? Mmm, as a member of the maid team, I can't ignore this threat. I should. That's so cute that there's a butler and a maid one. I, wouldn't they call it host, though? Shouldn't it be host and maid? Um, I should. Let's see. What am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to go spy on them. Yes. Ah, no fair. They have all this and we're stuck in a classroom? I think we've already lost in terms of location. Mon ami. Yuya. How kind of you to come see me. Wait, no. Welcome back, my lady. Please come this way. Oh, he does look good. I think I'm blushing. You're, you're not fooling anyone, Yuya. You say that to every birdie, right? It's my duty for today. Please forgive me, my lady. Jeez. What's your class doing, mon ami? A maid cafe. Well, well, I suppose that makes us rivals. You've certainly done a good job at infiltrating our base, I must say. Maids versus butlers. Battle of the school ground. I think it's a bit much. You're not on duty today. Or are you taking a break? I'm on duty tomorrow. I see. In that case, I shall come witness your maidery. I will, of course, ask for you. I await your return, master. Awkward. <laughs> We're getting brand new cleaning supplies for the infirmary today. It doesn't seem like a particularly dirty room, but for some reason they always run out really quickly. Shocking. Yuya went on ahead. I can't keep him waiting. Blast off at the speed of light to the maintenance office and beyond.
Yuya's talking with the janitor, Mr. One. I hadn't expected Mr. One, the quiet, foppish bird with a cult following, to get along with the infamous stud muffin, Sakazaki Yuya, but I don't think we'll find any evidence. Right, of course, I'll check the others. Yuya! Salutations, mon ami. I was waiting for you. Here, take this heavy stuff, you take the broom. What is, what should one's voice, I don't even know. That is that then. Mr. One retreats into his lair with an unsociable expression. Mr. One seems like kind of a loner. I wonder if it's part of the job description. He's a nice fellow once you get to know him. I think his taciturn nature does him great injustice personally. You're friends with him. I do have a lot of opportunities to talk to him, yes. It was only to be expected. He starts carrying the supplies down the hall, ending the conversation. Somehow I feel like he doesn't want to talk about it. Hmm. Interesting. We're going to be deciding our majors soon. I haven't thought about it at all. I'll need to have my career all worked out by this time next year, won't I? I wonder if Yuya's already decided on his. Maybe I'll go ask him for some advice. Sakazaki! Uh, hey, did Sakazaki come in this morning? Yeah, he was here this morning. Don't know where he went. Doesn't he attend class? He's never been particularly serious, no. He isn't even here half the time. I don't think he's planning to go to university, is he? I never realized. Mmm, if he's still here, he's probably in the infirmary or the shop. I'll go to the shop first. We didn't have infirmary duty today, and my hunter-gatherer instincts are telling me he's there. Yuya! Hello, mon ami. You startled me. That was easier than I expected. He's acting kind of weird, though. He isn't shoplifting, is he? Are you busy right now? I wanted to talk to you. Uh, sure. Here. Oh! He takes my hand and runs from the store. I guess he was shoplifting. <laughs> what are you doing? Why do you drag me into this empty hallway? Are you excited? No. Oh, well. Why'd you come and talk to me, mon ami? Were you drawn to my sexy aura? No, I just wanted to talk to you about career plans and stuff. You've always been a diligent girl, Karen. You know hanging around me is dangerous, though. You won't get off with just a scratch. What do you mean? Well, you might get shot, knifed, dismembered, drowned, buried alive, that sort of thing. I don't know what you're talking about, Yuya. Don't think too hard. I mean exactly what I said. I'm going to disappear from this school soon, mon ami. I know it isn't easy, but you should forget about me. That'll be for the best. His tone of voice is as carefree as ever, but his eyes are dead serious. I don't think he's joking. Kind of hard to swallow, isn't it? How about this? I'll tell you something neat as a parting gift. You know the rumors that missing students end up as meat in the cafeteria and quill pens in the shop? Well... Why do you think I'm so forward, mon ami? And why do you think I work in the infirmary? Live an honest, happy life. Adieu. Yuya, wait! Oh my god. Um, okay. See, I'm honest. I feel like this needs to be in my own. Oh, okay. I know I do my own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going. And I want to fast forward to this one. I'm going to miss another scene. Yuya. The sun is just going to be across the land. Lighting it. Lighting it. It's the first day of the new year. The sun is still alive. It's a little cold out. It's cold. The sun is warm. I think I'll go to there's a lot of birds already. It must be nice to have warm weather Maybe I should borrow some from somebody. I think I'll buy anyway to go here. Let's see. There's probably something different. Let's just see. I don't want to fast forward. We'll just click. But we're going to do fulfillment in conquest. Okay. We've done fulfillment in conquest before, so I don't think this is going to be any different. Yeah. Some Nanaki stuff, just like we saw before. Hmm. Silky blessing. I haven't seen that blessing. Yep. Wait, isn't that... Oh, wait, is this the... Oh! Oh, this is new. Yuya? Happy new salutations, mon ami. It is you. Happy new salutations to you, too. Ah, to meet you on the first day of the new year. A good omen, indeed. Did you come alone? Not exactly, no. I was looking for someone, but I seem to have lost sight of them. You're just as suspicious as always, Yuya. But I found you instead, so I can't say that this was a wild goose chase, mon ami. I shall go thank the gods from the shrine for this fated encounter. Adieu. And so he sauntered off with a dashing wave. I guess he was in a hurry. 
That was cute. And mysterious. Okay, New Year time. I don't think there's going to be any scenes for this day. Involve Yuya. Yeah, nothing special. Third term. It's still light out, so maybe I'll go somewhere before I head home. Whee! Oh, tomorrow is Legulamentines. I think I'll buy some beans. Today, Legulamentines is a holiday where you give beans to the boy you like, but apparently it used to involve throwing them at pigeons. Disgraceful! <laughs> okay, what beans are we getting him? We are getting him bitter black beans. Okay. We're gonna buy bitter black beans. I'll take these. Thank you, miss. Here you are. Okay. Today is the day. The preparations are complete. Time to give the beans to that special sum birdie. I want to go give Yuya beans, but I don't even know if he's at school today. I guess I'll have to call him. Salutations, mon ami. He answered. Hello, how are you, Yuya? Where are you right now? I'm fine, but alas, I cannot say where I am. The best men always have a mystery, or 2,000, after all. Do you need me for something? Um, could we meet up for a bit? Please, I'll only ask this once. A once-in-a-lifetime request, in other words. Really? A once-in-a-lifetime plus plenty more times in the same lifetime request. Well, that sounds important. I can't exactly say no now, can I? Shall we meet in the usual place in the park tonight, say, at 8? Okay. What is the usual place? Have I met up with him before? Yuya, I hope I didn't keep you waiting. The time spent waiting for a lady is magical, irreplaceable time. Pay it no mind, mon ami. Unfortunately, I do not have much time left today. Forgive my lack of romance, but may I ask what you wanted to meet me for? Oh yes, um, it's Legulamentines, so I wanted to give you this. You wanted to give me some beans, mon ami. Yes. Uh, how wonderful. I'm glad I risked my life to come here. I thought maybe your mature, manly spirit would like these. Bitter black beans? Thank you, mon ami. I have loved these since I was but a child. Had I told you that? No, but my hunter-gatherer instincts never fail. I see. I wonder if we truly are bound together by fate. How romantic. This gives me hope and caffeine to carry me through this darkest of nights. Adieu, mon ami. And so he disappeared into the night. I can't say I have any more of an idea of what he's up to ever than I ever do, but I'm glad he liked the beans. I guess he survives a little, a little longer in, uh, in his storyline, but it, it does seem like we're headed to something similar. The semester's almost over. In a few short weeks, I will no longer be a sophomore. I haven't seen Yuya since New Year's. Apparently, he hasn't come to school all semester, but there are rumors that he dropped out. But could that really be true? I feel like a hole has opened up in my heart. I think I'll go drown my sorrows in arcade games. Wait, isn't that... Yuya? Mon ami? You look like you're doing pretty well. I, uh, have some stuff to do. I do. Hey, w wait. Uh, Karen, could you not grab me so tightly? Uh, Yuya, your wing. Bro, look out. A gunshot? Opening fire on a lady? Such insufferable cads they are. This way, mon ami. Run! Yuya, what's going on? Please explain yourself. What are you, why are people trying to kill you? Are you a wanted man? I I suppose I can't really say you're not involved anymore, can I? It's time I explained. Do you know of the Hawk Party and the Dove Party, mon ami? The political factions. Right. They were names used in human politics, but now they carry a different meaning. The Dove Party believes we should live peacefully with the remaining humans, while the Hawk Party believes we should exterminate them and make room for birds. St. Pigeonations is actually a secret experimental institute called created by the Hawks. W what? Of course, it's not like the entire faculty is working for them. There's only one Hawk agent actually working at the school. By contrast, I was dispatched by the Doves to infiltrate the school and investigate the experiments. As you said, I'm a wanted man. Ha <laughs> ha! I am proud to live up to that title. I'm an expert at clandestine information retrieval, and information is valuable. I imagine you've already realized why I was acting as a helper in the infirmary. Because the Hawk agent is... It's Dr. Iwamine. Oh, you can guess Professor Nanaki, too. It, but it's Iwamine. It's Iwamine. Correct. 
Uwamine is no doubt an assumed name. He's a researcher for the Hawk Party and has been developing anti-human biological weapons using data collected during physical examinations. Remember when we bumped into each other at the school sharp? Yes, I think we... I was investigating where the products sold there come from. I found the DNA samplings of the pens there match samples taken from missing students. Same goes for much of the poultry in the cafeteria. That That's horrible. But if the doctor was out to exterminate humans, why did he never do anything to me? Mm, this is just my interpretation, but I don't think he holds any political ideals. I think he trusts only his own knowledge and his own power to expand that knowledge. Something like a mad scientist, maybe. Exactly. I suppose it never occurred to him to target you, since you were working for him. I think he was more interested in observing your interactions with the other students. I wanted to reveal the Hawk's involvement in the school, but in the end, it proved too much for me alone. And now, well, I can no longer live in the open. I plan to leave the city tonight. But I can't leave just yet. I don't know if I can just leave you here, Karen. Yuya. You may already have mar be marked as one of my associates, and if that's the case, then leaving you alone would be dangerous. I'm sorry I got you involved in all of this, mon ami. Hardly. I was the one who approached you. You don't need to apologize. <laughs> You're such a nice girl. Thank you. Hmm. I'll let you decide. Do you want to come with me into the world of darkness, or would you rather live a normal life? Of course, if you want to stay, I'll assign agents to protect you. I want to... I want to go with him. I want to go. Yuya, I'm going to go with you. I want to go with you. Are you sure? You may be putting your life at risk. Don't make me say it twice. Uh -huh. Somehow I was hoping you'd say that. I haven't been this happy in a long time. There's nothing more keeping us here than let's go, mon ami. And so I followed Yuya into the world of darkness. Sometime in the future, a pair of spies and their endless battle for justice behind the frail curtain of society will pass into legend, but that's another story. Roll credits. Oh, very cool. I loved that. Okay, we want to skip, try to skip past the credits because this song is going to get me. The song is going to get me. Talk over the song. Don't let it play too much. Okay, you only live twice. Ending number five. Wowie. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. That was another ending. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was so good. That was so good. Okay. We are going to um, stop the recording and restart it really quick uh, for YouTube. So for those watching the VOD on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all of that fun stuff. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.